I'm a pediatric pulmonologist by training, uh, so I spent uh, slight, just a little bit less than 20 years uh, in academic medicine taking care of uh, children and young adults with respiratory diseases. Here at NIBR, I have two major roles. One is to work with the scientists who are working in the lab to develop new compounds to treat diseases and help them decide uh, what diseases we should target. And my other major role here at, at NIBR is to uh, take those new compounds that are coming out of the lab and study them uh, in people, particularly to do the first studies in people, the ones that are primarily designed to determine the safety of the compounds. Uh, but that also should give us an idea of whether or not they're going to work. One of the differences working uh, at Novartis Institutes for Biomedical Research compared to academia uh, is that there's the sense that everybody's really pulling for the same thing. Sometimes in academic medicine you're working to get your grants funded and you'll collaborate on projects that will help you get to that way, uh, help you get your grants funded. But you may also be in competition um, with colleagues down the hall or at, at other medical schools, other academic centers, where as at Novartis, we're all really trying to do the same thing, which is to develop new drugs that will help patients. And that's a very powerful, uh, very powerful feeling to have that sense of community, that everybody's really working to do the same thing. The other nice thing that I see at NIBR uh, is there's a fair amount of autonomy given to the scientists to be able to go out, uh, read about the disease, think about the best approaches, and then take some chances in the lab. Uh, try and find new ways of, of addressing it. Try and find new ways of using compounds. Developing good models of disease so that we can study it. Uh, and then really applying that and, and not being beholden to a bottom line